Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to discuss today in terms of the Earth-Sun connection. Pencils ready as we touch earthquakes, weather, and the ionosphere, but we'll get started, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star were not very active. No sunspots or solar flares. That incoming filament you saw at the opening coming in over the eastern limb has a sister departing over to the west, much larger and active, but luckily heading for the far side. Looking at the solar wind reveals dropouts in purple and green, the plasma speed and temperature in the electric field. All is calm geomagnetically, while the departing coronal holes may offer some intensified streams throughout the day today, next system becoming visible on the left side as another extension reaching down out of the north. Folks, a couple days ago there was a brief bit of panic during the launch of the gold satellite. You'll remember, it is the next level space weather ionospheric monitor and could deliver pre-seismic data as well. They lost contact during the first stage and almost failed to properly insert gold into its orbit. It was luckily reconnected after separation and things do appear normal as the mission begins now. Folks, with these electroquake papers we saw yesterday, we actually missed one. Using swarm data, these scientists analyzed the 2016 Ecuador earthquake and found a series of anomalies prior to the event. Some are familiar, like a total electron content surge the day before the quake, and others are less familiar, like a 12-day surge in surface land temperature before the earthquake. An excellent paper is out confirming the solar effects on large-scale oscillations and atmospheric modes. It turns out that the ultra-high activity of the sun during the last century you might remember it was the highest in 11,000 years. It can hit a critical point where it overtakes the Pacific North American connection to overheat the atmosphere via a shift in the subtropical jet. Shifts in other jets are expected as the sun heads towards its grand minimum of activity this century, and with a top three effect being reduction of Indian monsoon rainfall, the fact that we are seeing it already in terms of fewer soaking events is not a great sign. Folks, there is a lot of relevant weather to watch for tonight, but that system heading south towards New Zealand as a convergence comes up from Antarctica is still forecast to slam the island nation in the middle of the week. You can see them on approach with New Zealand in the middle. Folks, there are only three days left to register for Observing the Frontier 2018. Among the topics of note are space weather and human health, and by the way, you should look for a second video upload here on YouTube today on that very topic. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org, your weekly podcast episode of Fly on the Wall aired yesterday, another fun hour, and we're now up to 13 Deeper Look episodes in January. Website members really squeezing their money's worth out of me this month. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.